guys welcome back to t-bone southern ride as we're going down the road at half the speed we need uh went to appalachian mountain rides told my brother gw the milkman i need a bike to ride for content and he just said well take out the zl1000 so guys what we got here is a four cylinder 1987 kawasaki zl1000 now if you're a fan of kawasaki and if you're a fan of the ninja you know this bike this is essentially the 1000 cc which is a ninja engine sitting on top of a cruiser frame and we'll get out on the road and i'll talk to you about it all right guys woohoo as you can see my knees are up this uh they say that this bike right here is not a crotch rocket huh. the power says it might be it's got power kids it's a monster I'll tell you what guys this bike right here is a 1987 ZL 1000 uh, 1000 ZL and the Kawasaki's guys these bikes right here are just fun uh, you can have a lot of fun on them they're quick or if you want to just kick back and hit the back roads like we're fixing to do and cruise it around just a little bit well you can do that and have fun doing it guys this bike right here is on display at appalachian mountain rides the milkman is asking twenty seven hundred and fifty dollars for this bike but i can tell you now cash money and tell him you saw it on t-bone southern ride cash money will get you a better deal on it but Guys, I mean, metric cruisers, <laughs> this is just a fun motorcycle to ride. Uh, and like I said, essentially what this is, is the 1000 Ninja engine that they did back in the 80s, sitting on a cruiser frame. Now, this bike right here is just ready to fly as soon as you get on it and take off. And that's in fifth gear going from 45 to 65 just quick any way you want to do it but this bike right here guys mid shift uh your controls are set at the middle keep your knees up for tucking it's up off the ground and even though it is a cruiser this bike right here was absolutely built to lean into a curve just like that right there and have fun riding them winding roads well what a beautiful day guys what a gorgeous day uh it's a deal and he's got the paperwork for the bike and what i can tell you about this bike guys is that if you are a new rider this is not the bike you're going to want to start out on because this bike right here guys i mean black is beautiful uh these bikes are just classy i mean they're good looking bikes i'm going to pull over up here up the road and kind of get off and give you a real quick tour around the bike i mean these are just good looking bikes uh i mean at 50 right there is 55 mile per hour and it literally feels like at 55 mile per hour that you could just bust the throttle and it says it'll do 160 now there's two things i know for a fact number one the speedometer says it'll do a number and it's 160. the second fact i know is it's not going to do 160 with my big butt on it. that i guarantee you uh because I know this these kind of bikes I have actually I owned one of these years ago one of the ZL 1000s 
I got it from Willie Carter. A lot of you locals here will remember Willie Carter. He used to own the three and four mile grocery. And I owned a Yamaha VMAX for just a very short amount of time I had the VMAX. I didn't really care for it when I had it. But this bike right here, hands down, would smoke the VMAX all day long. These bikes right here out of the hole are just quick. They'll do whatever you want to do. And there's not a whole lot of these motorcycles left in the world, guys. I mean, these are di dinosaurs, I guess we would say. And they've grown away. And we're, we're losing these older bikes because, uh, you know, back in the day, people just beat them up and threw them away. So you can only do that so long before you run out of anything. But, I mean, it trails fantastically. Comfortable. I mean... If you can stand being in this position, which I'm still able to ride in this position, uh, it, it's comfortable. And I mean, just a fun bike. You want to get out, you want to ride, you want to have a good time, uh, you want to have a little fun. I know how it is. You get on a bike like this, you get to want to get on the back roads and have a little fun with it. But uh, let me get right here real quick, guys, and out of everybody's way. And I'll jump off and give you a little bit of a look at it around it now I don't know it's probably gonna be a couple of weeks before I actually get this video out so this bike may be gone by then uh, he's had a lot of bites on it uh, flame stitch seat uh, got the grab bars for your girlfriend or your wife to ride with you it is a four-cylinder 1000 and I tell you something, guys, this bike right here, uh, <clears throat> they just look cool. And of course, like anything else that came out of the 1980s, it's an 87 model. When Kawasaki, Yamaha, Honda, everybody was kind of in competition in the American market. And of course, they were in competition, as always, with Harley Davidson. But this is the old inline style four cylinder. And, man, I tell you guys, this bike to be a 1987 model is in pristine condition. Just a beautiful bike. It truly is. All right, guys. Uh, here we are back on it and ready to go. Uh, hang on, guys. Here we go. Third gear, I ran out of road, and we were already up there where we didn't need to be. Uh, but, you know, GD, you know, Mint Man said, take it out, ride it for, you know, whatever you want to ride it. I just told him I needed to make some content. And he said, well, take the ZL out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, you know, dang the luck, I'll take the ZL. If I have to, I'll take the ZL. But, tell you something, guys, this bike right here, as I said back there a minute ago, this thing is in immaculate condition to be a 1987 model. Uh, but like I said, it's on display at Appalachian Mountain Rides. Come out of McKaysville like you're going to Mineral Bluff. He's right there past the big church on the right, right out of the curve. You can't miss it. Uh, go in and talk to the milkman. Mm -hmm. Tell him you saw this bike on T-Bone Southern Rides, if it's still there. Like I said, it may be a couple of weeks before I actually get the video out on this bike. But i tell you something, guys. Uh, man, back in the day when these bikes, when we were riding these bikes and not really realizing what we had, we just knew they looked cool and they went really fast. And this bike right here will go really fast. But... I don't want that to be the only reason you want to buy a bike. Going fast has its place in motorcycling, absolutely. I mean, that's why crotch rockets are such hot sellers. But I'm out here right now, and I'm cruising at 45, 50 mile per hour on the back roads here and just having a blast doing it. I mean, you don't have to be at 100 
mile per hour wherever you go just because it says it'll do it doesn't mean you have to do it but man what a gorgeous day to do this on man the, i mean we got past easter and i hope everybody had a happy easter and we got through dogwood winter at the end of this month we'll have another little cold snap which is blackberry winter the blackberries will start blooming but it'll cool off but it won't be as cool as dogwood winter and then we're full-blown summer guys we're we're to the bikers season so even if you're watching this video and i know i've got a lot of, of uh friends in my friends list that watch my videos that don't ride motorcycles please 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 help people be aware you know look twice and save a life i mean motorcycles are out i came through town earlier as we were leaving out of the conico over there a minute ago and tell you something guys there was just motorcycles everywhere uh and i wouldn't even want to venture into the dragon or anywhere right now that draws a lot of people in even 60 where we were at where i screwed all my footage up there was a ton of motorcycles out there two wheels only but guys keep that in mind just always keep your head on a swivel because i promise you if you're in your car no matter how tough we are or how mean we want to look we are vulnerable and if you hit us on our motorcycles guys i promise you if you hit us with a car or a truck you won the fight there's no getting away from it so just take that extra second to look make sure that there ain't a head headlight approaching you because most motorcycles today even in the daylight still run a headlight uh, it's actually state law in all the states as far as i know that if your headlight has to be on when you're moving so but guys just take a little time take that extra couple of seconds make sure that there's not a motorcycle coming towards you that you can't see and uh help us help protect us out here on the roads but guys here it is if you made it this far go ahead and drop down hit that like button give me a comment about the bike let me know if there's a bike you think i should go try and ride and test out and see how they run but this has been the 1987 kawasaki zl 1000 and as i said as of the time i made this i'm shooting this video it is for sale but something tells me it won't be for long to the next time guys drop down like comment share my video and until the next time this has been t-bone and this is a southern ride